Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to Eric Dieter's show. As always, we're sponsored by Dieter's Consulting, Park Shoga. Check us out on all of our platforms. And we begin with the Trump trial yesterday. Trump attended his trial yesterday. Now, I originally thought that he attended this trial. And by the way, this is true. By attending this trial, he delays his deposition testimony and other cases. But here's what's great about it, folks. He gets to play the martyr. And he's playing it. And he's raising money off of it. So for him to look like, look what they're doing to me. Because he doesn't need to go to campaign events. He's winning already. So this is like him taking all the attention away from every single opponent that he's got every single day. Because what's the media going to cover? Donald Trump showing up at his trial. It doesn't matter what happens at the trial. By the way, he's going to lose his trial. Is there any question he's going to lose the trial? Why is he going to lose his trial? Because of this clown. This clown here was loving all the attention. Democratic hack. And you know what? This guy gave summary judgment on fraud. <laughs> you know how hard that is? Although I think we can get summary judgment against Medical Protective in with Medical Center for fraud. All right, Trump ordered McDonald's, bags and bags of McDonald's for the New York staff. That's one way to... I wonder if he delivered McDonald's, Sabrina, to the jury. Like, inadvertently leave a bag of McDonald's outside the jury room. For, say, thank you, Don. <laughs> Getz versus McCarthy. Getz has filed to remove, made a motion to remove McCarthy. But McCarthy will be saved by Democrats. Sad story. North Dakota state senator uh, coming back from Scottsdale, Arizona. Stopped to refuel in Utah. Doug Larson. His plane crash. Whole family died. You know, I used to talk about this all the time. I, I don't want, I wouldn't want my family to not have their life. But, but, they all went together. <laughs> they all went together. But how sad is that? For that extended family. Sad. All right, Senator LaFonza Butler is the Emily List president, is going to be the new senator from California, appointed by Gavin Newsom. Pressure had to point that black woman. Representative Dean Phillips from Minnesota is taking himself out of all leadership positions. He's running against good old Joe Biden. Longshoremen Union is bankrupt. That's how well they were run. Samantha Hayes. This is a sad story. 27 years old, was killed when she was driving a tractor, lawn tractor, when a small plane clipped her. I don't know if it was landing or taking off. Isn't that weird and bizarre? Portland 911, you know what the mayor says? You're on your own. Portland 911 is overwhelmed. This is like a scene out of that movie. What's the name of that movie where they're like all, everybody's on their own. It's like one day of the year where... Anything goes bizarre, kind of a Halloween movie. Gun deaths and suicides going up, up, up with children. Sad, folks. And this isn't a gun issue. This is a societal effed up issue. Charlotte Cena was saved. Saved. Thank goodness. You know what it was? They traced a ransom note in the jack wagon and stole her. Recovered two days later. And power of prayer. Our own angel. Sabrina Kane, who prays all the time. I swear to goodness, folks, this woman is an angel. I gave her the nickname Angel because she had to interview all the Durrani victims. And I can't imagine. She said she got post-traumatic stress disorder from it. You know, doing videos of all the Durrani victims. But she said she prayed yesterday. Prayers answered. Good job, Sabrina. I'm going to give you all the credit. Charmin. <laughs> you can't make this up. Charmin, after 100 years have decided to go with the jagged edge. It's going to be easier to pull it off. <laughs> Supreme Court. You ready for this one? They attacked Trump's eligibility to be president because of the indictments. Supreme Court's not going to rule on it. Win for Trump. All right. This is effed up. We have given all our bombs to Ukraine. Sorry, Zelensky. We got to look out for ourselves. Right now, if another nation attacked us, we'd be effed. We would have to resort to the nuclear threat. Hey, illegals, pick your American city. 
Apparently, you know, he flew in like two million folks. You know what he did? What he did is he said, pick your, or 200,000, flew them in directly. He said, pick your city. Where do you want to go? Can you imagine this crap? Only from F. Joe Biden. And you know what they're saying now? The lawyer for meatball right here, an extraordinary, talented looter, that if you attack her, you're attacking all brown, all black people. You're racist. Well, sign me up as a racist then. It's the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.